Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. We just started to explore the next map, the next map of the map world that will show a huge portion of the coffee break world. I am super excited about this. I really like to see more. I really like to see more of this beautiful world. But first, I like to talk to those guys. I like to see what they have to offer. A cartographer? Uh, no, I like to keep my paper because I need the paper for future maps. Librarian. Sh Ooh, sharpness 4. That's nice, but I don't have so many emeralds, so I'm sorry. Leather worker. Leather pants. Librarian, all right. I think I think they they don't have something to offer. Let's let's just carry on. Let's let's continue with the exploration and um, yeah, find find some beautiful places. Cows, easy. Minecraft. Okay, Ma Minecraft has the the usual issues at the start. It, ooh, some some free arrows. That's nice. It has to. It has to warm up, I guess, and uh, then, then when, then we, ha then when we have reached the the good temperature, the operational temperature, or so, then Mi Minecraft is running smoothly, or so. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Minecraft actually is doing, but uh, this shouldn't be a problem for today. Uh, today, I like to talk as usual about things, things going on in my life. Yesterday, yesterday was the deadline for the journal invite of one of my papers, and yeah, it's it's good. It's good that it's finally over. Uh, kept me busy, really kept me busy for some time, and um, yeah, no, no, it's submitted. I I just hope that the reviewers will agree with my opinion, with my with my research, with my findings. Um, the interesting thing is that that's the invitation of the Kerbal Space Program paper, so. Um, yeah, I basically had to somehow extend this paper I uh, presented at the conference last September. And I hope, I, I really hope that they like the, the new version and that they will accept it. Would be would be nice to to get uh, a second article, a second um, paper on, on this topic. This would this would be super great. We will see. We will see what comes out of this. Unfortunately, they have, despite being a special invitation, special um, special issue, haven't provided a date when they when they will send out the reviews. So yeah, don't know. Don't know when I will hear anything from them. I just hope that it won't take so long because. Um, yeah, I, I like to I like to use this paper also for my um, for my PhD thesis, which I will start writing soon, because um, before I can do this, I have to finish another paper which I will write together with a colleague. Um, it's due next Monday, I guess. So not not so much time, but it's not really well. Sure, it's somewhat scientific, but um, it's just for a conference proceeding, more or less, and um, it's also written in German, so not really that useful, I would say. There, there is a German scientific community, and this community is quite large in terms of education and uh, pedagogy and so on. But yeah, not not so much in. Um, other fields in the fields where I'm active in, so yeah. But but I still like to to get this thing out. Would would be nice. Would be really nice to finish the thing. So yeah, some some more some more work is coming up the next few days. Uh, Schnapps. Are those those bright dots? Just things I haven't explored or. I mean, I, I'm talking about those at the upper border of the map. Yeah, I think those are those are unexplored spots. I have to fix this. I have to fix this immediately. Um, 
yeah, I I really hope that uh, the paper gets accepted, and I really hope it gets gets accepted soon. There's another paper waiting for the results, the review results. I submitted it last November, I guess, so already two months ago and still haven't heard back from them. So not sure, not sure when I will hear from them. I hope it's, I hope it's soon be, for the same reason, for the exact same reason I like to include it in my PhD thesis and um, would, would be really bad when the PhD thesis itself is ready and I'm then just sitting around waiting for the moment that they say, okay, we accept your paper or we reject your paper. No matter what their decision is, I, I will then, of course, submit my PhD thesis because I don't want to wait another several several months to um, finally finally be able to to finish this PhD thing. So we will see. We will see. I please keep your keep your fingers crossed that this thing gets gets accepted, that everything runs smoothly, and I'm finally done with it. Uh, that I can finally say, yep. I, I finished this project. Now I can finally move on to to other things. Would be awesome. Okay, I think I fixed those unexplored spots. This means I can now carry on with the expedition. Um, yeah, so that's good. That's that's really nice. Um, another interesting thing which I observed just due to the fact that I spent too many hours at work, it's getting brighter. It's getting brighter in the evening or the, the, the daylight lasts longer than over the course of the last few weeks or so. Um, it was dark around uh, 4.30. Now it's dark around 5 p.m., shortly after 5 p.m. or so. So um, that, that, that's, that's also in an interesting thing, well, it's not not really interesting. It's it's nothing special. It's it's just how how our Earth works, how the orbit around the Sun and the the tilted axis and so on, how how all those those things work. But yeah, I, I recently noticed it as I was at work and I looked out of the window and I thought, hmm, it's still bright out outdoors. And then I uh, checked the the time and I saw, hey, it's it's already that late. That that's surprising. So yeah, there's that. There is that. Um, is there anything else that happened recently? I, I really have to think about it. This this endless deadline session one deadline chases the next one. This is really, really crazy. I, I mean, I, I'm talking about this so many times and uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just insane. It's just insane how, how crazy things are. Even some of my students noted that, okay, uh, yeah, th this one, this one works a lot. This one really works a lot. And, um, it, it, it's good. It, it's good that they notice it and that they. Um, and the one, it, it's it's a little bit sad because maybe they don't ask questions. Or I, I'm not quite sure if this is a thing or if, if it's just a fear of mine that they avoid asking questions to not to not bother me to not cause even more work on my side. Um, but but yeah, it's it's interesting when they when even they notice that okay something something is going on there apparently, so much work so much craziness. Mm. Yes, I totally agree with you, Mr. Cow, and I'm looking forward to explore this uh, jungle. Also, I'm looking forward to hopefully find a, a winter biome, an ice biome. Th this would be super cool. This would be re this would be indeed super cool. This would be something I'm. I'm really interested in finding. This would be just awesome. So yeah, I feel a little bit stuck. I had some things in mind I wanted to talk about, but for some reason they just drifted away. I I don't really know. 
That, that's once again embarrassing. That's also the reason why I frequently ask you for some uh, questions to submit some questions I can discuss, answer topics to discuss because it, it helps me. It helps me to, um, yeah, keep 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 talking and um, do interesting stuff. Come up with interesting topics, thoughts, and so on. Because sometimes I. I I just feel feel tired or so. Um, yeah, on on Tuesday, I once again, of course, was at the gym running on a conveyor belt. So um, I I must really say I, I I recently noticed that my endurance is getting better and better. And oh, skeleton, that's haven't I? Grab the shield, apparently I did not. All right, so we have to do this real quick. We have to surprise that guy. Ali, you. Aha, ooh, this, this, this was good. He haven't hit me, that's nice. Um, let's, let's, let's search for a place where I can sleep, like here. Um, yeah, that, that, that's always cool when you when you notice some self improvement that that you notice. Okay, I'm I'm getting better. I'm I'm becoming more powerful, more strong, more more other things, which which are it, ow. Which, which you would you like to do or what you like to achieve so that, that's that's also all the time a lot of fun but all of this is not really a thing that that fills this episode I, I had things in mind I really had had ideas before I started recording this episode I, I had some ideas in mind I, I wanted to discuss things to to talk about and um, yeah, no, now I'm lost. Now I'm lost again. Um, yeah, weird. Just weird. Just, just weird. What, what, what's going on with my brain? My brain is not as good as it was. We was some, some years ago or so, I guess. Ah, uh, dear. Oh dear. I am uh, still excited about. SpaceX shiny new spacecraft ow mock-up thing whatever the thing is <laughs> I mean um, they're, they're, they're building a shiny shiny spacecraft or test spacecraft test rocket grasshopper whatever uh, for their how's this thing called it's not the BFR the BFR is the the launch stage right um, Interplanetary ITS, interplanetary ship. I I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> this thing is called. Unfortunately, um, but yeah, they're they're building a small little mock-up, and I'm really excited if the thing will ever fly. And what what the thing is all about? I mean, Elon Musk frequently tweets new pictures of this thing, whatever it is, and. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm, I'm really curious. Would be interesting to see this this shiny thing fly, but um, yeah, don't know. Don't know if the thing will ever fly. It it might fly. I mean, with with enough enough thrust, it definitely will fly. But will it fly in a good way or will it fly in a bad way? Will it will it just um, disassemble itself during launch or so? Um, yeah, this, this, those, those are the real question. I mean, with with enough power, you can lift everything. But um, is it is it really is it really uh, the way they they intend to do it? So I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited to to see more of this to really find out what what comes out of this. So that and that's cool. In uh, terms of uh, space flight, I'm th this is also so super sad i mean you know that i am a space flight nerd yes 
I totally agree. I totally agree with you, Mr. Bird. I am a super space flight nerd and I had so many times um, space news and was talking about space news and space flight and recent developments in space exploration and so on. And um, yeah, recently I rarely managed to watch a launch. And th this, feels, this feels really weird, this feels really sad. I know, I think it hasn't launched yet. Not even sure if if it will launch due to the government shutdown. Will, will, will they will they launch things when when there's shutdown or how how is this thing working? I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not really into this, but um, yeah, I'm. Uh, what what I really wanted to say is. That there's a uh, Delta IV Heavy launch coming up with some uh, spinach satellites. Some satellites. See, I, I don't even know what, what's coming up. I just know that, okay, there will be. There will be a launch of a Delta IV rocket and um, those Delta IV ow, Heavy launches are all the time fun. They are, they are super impressive, super, super amazing, super cool. So I really like to watch it and I hope I, I can catch the thing live. It also depends all the time on uh, on the time when they will launch it because can it, it's difficult to watch the launch live during work because I have to focus on other things and it's bad when it's launched during night because I have to sleep. So yeah but but it would be cool. It would be super cool to uh, watch a rocket launch live again. So, yeah. Basically, what's next? I mean, I already discussed a little bit at the start of the episode what's next. Ooh, a temple. Do I like to explore it? Not really, because I don't think I, I'm, I'm quite encumbered and I mean there there could be some interesting stuff in the temple but do I really want to do I do I want to disturb the gods no I don't think I don't I don't think so that I that, that I like to disturb the gods I just like to carry on and um, enjoy that there's this building here um, yeah what, what's next so I, I talked about this uh, a couple of episodes ago already with my with my personal goal of getting this PhD thesis done by the end of March. This this would be this would be super awesome. Yeah, as as I said, uh, next week I guess it's Monday. There's the deadline for another paper. Shouldn't be too stressful, but then the the deadlines are over. Next deadline will be when the reviews of the one conference are sent out and I hopefully have to um, create all the camera ready versions. This, this would be super awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Don't that, that, that's, that's all the time like lottery or roulette or something like this. Some, some, some gambling. Some gambling if, if, you, if they decide to accept you or not. Um, yeah, this, this would be early February and then then I should be more or less free then I have time to just focus on on the PhD thesis this, this would be really good and that's also the, the thing why I said hey it, it might be possible to get the thing done by the end of March would be so great this, this would be this would be super amazing So yeah, th those those are the goals for the next days, weeks. I don't have pr travel plans for this year yet. I really like to travel. I maybe go up north again uh, to Scandinavia. So th this would be cool. Sure, I, I do have one travel basically coming up, which is visiting the conference in Glasgow. This should be fun. This should be really fun. But aside from that, I, I don't have travel plans yet. Currently, I just like to 
push everything towards this PhD situation. And um, as soon as this thing is over, I think I will come up with some travel plans and we'll think about, hey, where where do I like to go? But for now, I, I just, I think I will just try to forget that something like traveling exists <laughs> because it, it would make me just sad when I'm sitting in my office writing stuff and no travel. I mean, last year was already quite depressing, but uh, now, now I, I try to really limit myself to say, okay, don't, don't want to think about this. Don't want to distract myself. Now I, I just like to get things done and then I'm, I'm free. I'm free and uh, I can I can travel as much as I like or so. Well, no, that, that's not true. That's that's also not true. But I would be more free, which which is a good goal and good good thing. Really looking forward to this because then all the pressure of working on this PhD thing is would be away, and I could um, yeah then then just enjoy enjoy a little bit more myself and the work and science research. This would be this would be really fantastic. Um, yeah, one one thing was quite uh, funny. The media here in Germany did a coverage of the recent snowfall because in uh, southern Germany there was a lot of snow. It, it it was really a lot of snow. It's it's like. With all the other weather phenomena, it's everything is getting more extreme, and so we had extreme snow. And the way the media has presented it was like, um, yeah, we will all die. <laughs> we will all die. We will all be covered in snow, and all the all the villages and small towns are uh, disconnected from the from the rest of the world, and no one delivers any things, or no one can deliver things. People are trapped. It was a little bit over dramatic, and uh, this was quite funny. One of my of our student workers was present uh, yesterday at our teaching. He was skiing the last few days or so. So I asked him, "Hey, have you had some issues with with the snow and so on?" And he said, "Well, just just one slope was closed because of um, the high amount of snow." And the the danger of getting hit by an avalanche or so, but the other other slopes were open, and so yeah, I mean, sure, there, there's a lot of snow, but I'm not quite sure if it really. What 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 media often thinks when when they come up with those um, crazy over the top. Oh, I totally forgot to take to bring torches. That's unfortunate. Oh no, I brought torches. I um, I totally overlooked that I have torches. Ah, oh, snap. Ah, oh, snap. Right, bet. And now I like to enjoy a delicious steak. <laughs> Yummy. Ooh, creepers. Creeper triple. Ooh, and a zombie guy. What do you want to do here? Yes, Mr. Sandman. Thank you, thank you for your shiny, shiny bubbles. Uh, yeah, so it, it's all the time a little bit crazy, and um, we also had a good laugh. A colleague of my of me showed once again one of those fake news situations. I think it was about uh, some some reporter guy was where the hurricane or, or some strong storm hit. And he, he was doing like, okay, he's he's really fighting. He's fighting hard against the wind. And he was leaning into the wind and so on. And in the background, two young young boys were just walking past him. And they, they were just literally walking along. And he was doing all this, uh, this acting to show, okay, uh, it's, it's a strong wind. And in the end, it, it wasn't. So, um, but yeah, that, that's, that's my two cents. That's that's my two cents in general. I think this this episode was a little bit weird because I my 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 brain just went blank. But yeah, still hope you enjoyed it and still hope you will be joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you.
Thank you.